Hello. Today I want to talk about a little feature in Adams that has been around for quite a while. However, it's recently received quite an upgrade. The feature that I'm referring to is called favorites. So quite often when you are setting up algorithms, filters and other things, you have certain default settings that you use for a particular algorithm on a particular problem something that you always come back to because it seems to work with your data. And for that purpose, favorites can be quite handy because you don't have to constantly reconfigure filters, algorithms, etc. And that has been in there for quite a while. The preview browser has a modified version of that because that's extension sort of like um, dependent as well. However, in the rest of Adams, it has been there for quite a while, usually hidden away via the right click menu, favorites. However, it has become a lot more prominent now because the button has been moved right next to all the other ways where you can actually select uh, from a class hierarchy, for instance. That's one thing. The other thing, which is far more important, in the past, favorites could only be created for a single class. Um, however, last week I added the ability to also do that for arrays, so you can have multiple things. One thing that you will see is then basically here in the output generators, where you can have an array of output generators, you can now define that basically for the whole array, which makes it quite easy. So you don't have to click together your seven favorites that you want to have, but you can have them basically with a single click then. Okay. The other thing that changed with the favorites is that previously you could only have one temporary favorite for a particular class, or super class. However, that has been changed. You can have now an arbitrary number and therefore the menu also changed a bit. So. The manage one, that's permanent ones that will be available through various, uh, from each session to session. However, the temporary ones will be only available within one atom session. If you close atoms, then these will disappear. Can be handy if you're actually just working on a particular problem and you just want to add some things temporarily, kind of like on a stack, and then use them, for instance, first in the investigate and then in the flow, and you don't want to sort of like um, lose the setups. Okay, so if we, for instance, now um, have a linear regression, the default always has the M5 method in there. We don't want that, and we also don't want to eliminate collinear attributes. The reason for that is that if you have very many attributes, like for instance, if you're dealing with uh, spectral data, then you can have thousands or tens of thousands of attributes. This elimination and attribute selection takes forever. So having that turned off helps a lot with speeding up linear regression. So that's my favorite now for linear regression. And I have that now available as linear regression. Another favorite that I already had in there was for another data set, which was a little bit more complicated setup and it makes it now really easy switching between. So if I load a data set, for instance, run that, so by default, R was just the text statistics. That's not really great. Anyway, so I add a few more things to it. For instance, I wanna see the predictions and I would like to see um, also the classifier errors. We we'll add that too, and then we regenerate the outputs for that. We can now basically see all that. And having that now in place, I can then add a new favorite. So for numeric data, I have uh, stats, predictions, and errors. So already had another one in there, which was basically just stats and errors. So if I reach to select that one and regenerate it, then I basically just get that. Or if I want to have a bit more expensive one, 
then I can go for that. And of course, if I change something in there, I can always then simply update that particular field. So this happens basically within an application based on a particular superclass that we're working with. In this case, output generators or for the classifier will be classifiers. We also have under maintenance, the favorites management itself. So you can find basically for all the various superclasses, all the favorites that you've defined. So if I'm, for instance, looking now on the classified tab, I have the output generators and I can see here my two for stats, errors and the additional one. So I can then, for instance, go and edit the one and, for instance, just turn off my run information again. Because at the end, I didn't really want that. Once you're happy sort of like with changing everything, um, just make sure you save it so it's um, updated. And if you then go back into your favorites, for instance, an in investigator, select the one that you want, you can then see that the run information that I just turned off is now gone as well. So it immediately propagates these changes. Right. So that's a simple way of maintaining a nice and handy sort of like shortcut list of algorithms, etc., um, within Atoms, which makes it quite nice and powerful if uh, you want to quickly go through things or replic easily replicate things again. Thank you.